Uh, so in this year's World Energy Outlook, it is the first one that is uh, post-Paris Agreement. And so one of the things that we look at is what might this energy transformation, the low carbon transformation mean uh, for the energy sector. And we look at that transformation out to 2040. This year we have a special fuel focus on renewable energy as it's a central pillar to that strategy. And we look at the opportunities and the challenges uh, that present itself to uh, renewable energy moving forward. We also look at the role that energy efficiency pay, plays uh, in meeting those climate targets as well as uh, in the energy sector in general. Uh, another big focus that we have is uh, sort of looking at a redefinition of energy security. What does this mean post Paris? Uh, how is that definition changing? Uh, and we look specifically at uh, coal, oil and gas and sort of how those fuels progress uh, given today's environment, uh, what sort of the, the decisions taken today, the implications those have both in the medium and the longer term in terms of investment, in terms of infrastructure, and in terms of policy. Uh, we also have a special focus on water and energy, looking at the critical interplay of those two resources uh, and what sort of where the choke points might lie, uh, what the opportunities and solutions might be for those two resources. Uh, we also look at uh, the individual country pledges that were made at, uh, uh, at COP at Paris and are those countries on track to meet those opportunities, those targets that they set? Uh, what needs to happen for those countries to do that? Uh, that's also included in this year's World Energy Outlook. And finally, uh, we released a separate report looking at the energy outlook for Mexico uh, and what challenges they may face. Uh, and that was released uh, in no early November uh, as a separate publication, but also part of the World Energy Outlook series.